Hello world. I want to share with you a cool tool called the Chopper by Northwest Shortline. It is a um, well, it's it's a chopper. It's got a razor blade in there, mounted on a lever, above a cutting board with some clamping configuration that you can do, and this helps you get consistent precise cuts it saves you from spending a lot of time trying to get more than one uh, piece to come out the same um, these guides you can um, you can set them up however you want um, I'm a lefty so I prefer the uh, pieces to come in from the left side so uh, I just turn this 90-30 guide upside down to use it over here. Um, the piece I wanted was about a centimeter wide, so I just put it in here. Um, put the guide down, or the, put the blade down, and slide my piece up against it, and then tighten the guide up. And then carefully remove the piece. Um, if, be careful when the guide is up, or else you'll get a cut like that on your knuckle, and that's fun. So I've already made these four pieces. They are near enough as identical as you would want. I could try to stack them up perfectly, but they're they're all the same. I figured to review this thing properly, I would need to show you how to make something on it. So I thought I would show you how to make this shoulder extension for the GM Sniper 2. Um, I I made this shoulder extension to look like uh, kind of like the Blue Destiny. So, I'll just take that piece out and put this in a safe space so I don't lose it. What I'm going to make is the side piece. These pieces are about that length. They're, they're, a, little, they're a little wide, but I can fix that later. What I'm going to do next is the angle. I did this. I did these freehand way back when I made the model. When I made this mod, there you can see the. You can see it a little better that way. So that's what I'm going to try and do here. Now this comes with 30, 45, 60, and dang it, and 90 degree guides. But if you need something other than that, you can make your own by just cutting a piece of plot plate, styrene sheet, and using it like that. Uh, now since this, or maybe this, I don't know. I can probably clamp that in. Yeah, that works. So this is just the same stuff I cut these out of. I just had an extra length and I uh, lined this up on it. I just took the like the inverse of this angle so, so that when I slide this in and I cut down that line, it'll give me the same angle. Now since this has the flat side there, right before the angle, I'll need to make sure that when I put this in here, the guide lines up and the blade meets part, not at the corner, but slightly down the side there. So I will close this, I'm just going to eyeball it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to 
Well pointed. I have a mark on there now that I can kind of see. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I will eyeball this until I think. Yeah, that's about right. So slide this guide in, making sure that the piece is flat right here, nice and tight. And I move this guide up till it touches the piece. And then tighten the guide down. I'm gonna use a test piece. And just chop. And let's see here. How bad did I do? Yeah, that'll that'll clean up in sanding. And I'm just going to cut these pieces. See, I cut right on the mark there. And now you can see I've got four identical pieces. Now the way this thing cuts, it does leave a slight angle. But that's okay. You can just sand those, sand those square if you need to. Now for the top part that connects those, it's just a straight piece. It's going to be the same width as these. There. Now the piece needs to be one and a half centimeters. So I'll just line up my guide again. Using the grid to line things up. Watch your fingers. still slightly too long so now you can save these cutoff pieces to use as scrap for other things say you need a little panel like with a little little detail on it you just cut this and glue it on you have a neat interesting raised detail okay so I have these two now. And I have these four pieces. So that is what you can use the chopper for, is to make identical pieces. This doesn't look straight, does it? Now these are just right. Now the way I'm joining these together is with good old extra thin. Give the uh, cement time to melt the uh, plastic and then do your best to align these straight and center. And give them a good squeeze. And run a little extra where they meet. Inside and out. Now ideally, uh, you would have a, like a square block to wedge these in. I don't have that. Closest I have is these crazy knife stones that came in a uh, Chinese um, tool kit with this cutting board and some other tools. I think you're supposed to use these for sharpening, but I have used them for sanding. Uh, like they have different grits. 
but they're they're mostly square. So when I when I made these pieces the first time, I I set them up between the pieces like this. Just make sure they were square. And that seemed to work. seem to work, so I, I don't think it's a bad option. This edge here, should go away with some sanding, but put a bunch of glue on there. It should be fine. Since this glue hasn't set yet, I want to be very careful with it. Get the next side ready here. You have some room for error. But that is about it. Put some finishing touches on this one. Hmm. I have just discovered my exposure control. That's fun. Um, <clears throat> my phone was yelling me, yelling at me about maximum file size. All that's left is to sand, sand in that radius there, and then the radius on these other corners. I don't have another GM Sniper 2 to install these on, but if I do get one, I will have an update on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Chopper 2 in action. Anyway, if, if you have enjoyed this video, um, hit that like button because I like to know that people like what I'm doing. Feel free to sound off in the comments also and um, check out my other social media in the description. I'll see you guys around the internet. Bye.